Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Wednesday, June 26, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 24, reading from verse 22 to 31. And it says, And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, in so much that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before, Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chamber, believe it not. For as lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For where, wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Amen. So we are picking up from where we left off yesterday. So God assures us here that he has to shorten the day. Because if the days are not shortened, then no one will be saved. That's how bad things are. And so for the elect say, he says, I will shorten the days. And of course, we can see that the days are, are getting shorter and shorter. Now we are warned here that there will be arise many false prophets and false Christs in the world and we can see that today all of a sudden everybody have some kind of light and the information that they are giving to people it have no foundation in the word of God they are just leading folks astray and that is why it is important for us to know the word of God for ourselves so that we are not deceived and so don't be gullible when it comes on to the truth and to gospel examine everything to make sure that it is so so if somebody comes to you he says and tell you that christ is at this place or is at that place what you must do you must not go so what it is saying here is that just before jesus comes that the devil is gonna try to impersonate jesus is coming and also there is gonna have his henchmen or his followers who are his prophet false prophet who is going to try to convince you that satan is jesus so everything is just gonna work together just to deceive the world but what we can give god thanks for is that satan is not omniscient he's not like god he will he will never be god and so God give us a clear evidence saying that same like how you see the lightning flash from the east and to the west. That's how it's coming with going to be. In other words, you don't need anybody to come to you and give you no secret message because we are all going to see Jesus at the same time. The mathematics of that might be hard for you and I to comprehend and understand, but it, it is what it is. Nothing is impossible with God. If anybody can do it, it is God. And so Jesus is just giving us antidote to stand against false teaching and to keep us in constant readiness as we prepare to meet him. And after everything has happened, after all of those which was read before earlier, no, after everything that we read through from verse 1 come right down, you can go back through it and read through them carefully after all of those things have been fulfilled then the final thing to fulfill will be jesus coming in the clouds so after the tribulations and after all of those struggles then jesus 
will come. And so I pray that as we prepare ourselves and as we stay ready, may we be ready to meet God and may we help others to be ready for Jesus' soon return. Amen.